we've mentioned supplements and, and you've encouraged people to do that, especially if they're lower. Does your body recognize the supplement form the same way it does as it manufactures it through sunlight? Um, sunlight is the best. Okay. We know that very well. And one of the reasons why the sunlight is the best is because your body um, has seven uh, dehydro dehydroxycholesterol inside the skin, subdermal. And that actually makes a certain amount and then it turns it off. There's a feedback system. So after your body gets enough, it stops making it. Hmm. It's really cool that your body, we have the knowledge. Um, uh, and that level, by the way, is 20, 25,000 units. It's not hmm. 2,000 or 1,000 like they're telling us to take. The Institute of, Institute of Medicine is telling us to take. It's upwards of um, our body will make 20, 25,000 units given the amount of time, um, usually between 30 minutes and an hour in the sun. Uh, our body stops, stops cutting off, st stops absorption after that time. So um, skin is optimal. The problem with, with sun the, in our skin is that as we, get, as we grow older, over 40, 45, mm -hmm. our um, 7-DHC in our skin starts to atrophy and we just don't make it anymore so we can't grab enough enough from the sun. Our skin atrophies, we can't get enough from the sun. So oral supplementation after that age is important. A lot of other reasons too. People just can't get access to the sun, etc. Um, so sun is my favorite, but very difficult to get to, especially in Seattle or in Alaska mm -hmm. and North Dakota. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if you take uh, oral supplementation, it's um, very easy to come by. And D3 is what we like. Uh, D2 is the irradiated or gastrol form, and it is um, less, um, it's more the vegetarian form, vegan form, but it also does not last in our body very long at all, so we don't, we don't suggest people use it for health at all. The mm -hmm. D3 is pretty much a, a must for, um, for health, and you want to get that from oral form. I like the oil form, either capsule, um, capsule or drops. It's my favorite because okay. there's some little oil base there. How do you know how much? There's so many different, you know, sizes out there, supplements from, you know, 250, 100, 1,000, 10,000. Yeah, um, well, if you don't know your blood work level and you don't have a physician or nutritionist guiding you with those levels uh, and someone that's really knowledgeable about vitamin D, then my suggestion is just kind of go by the, um, um, the weight parameter. And the weight parameter says it's mostly for built on maintenance doses, but if you are... Um, it's a thousand units per 25 pounds. Okay. So if you're 25 pounds, you take a thousand units. Hmm. Um, if you are 100 pounds, you're going to be taking times four. So think of it that way. And um, so maintenance for anybody 100, 110, usually I tell them 5,000 a day. But that's maintenance. If they've never been on vitamin D, and they've been un they've been on under a thousand units a day or 2,000 units a day, I usually suggest always they get blood work done so we know. But if for some reason on nothing or very little, I tell them to usually double that maintenance dose and then go, depending on their weight. And then after two, three months, um, going back to maintenance.